Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna continue working on this 2004 BMW 545i. First, we'll get the rest of the interior put back together by replacing the broken iDrive controller in the center console, installing an aftermarket Apple CarPlay setup that I pulled from the parts car, and finally installing the rest of the missing modules and trim pieces. Second, we'll be doing a transmission service to try and clear up that hard downshift. And while we're at it, an oil change. So let's get into it. To replace the iDrive controller, we need to remove the center console. There are two screws under the shifter boot, one on either side of the console where the console meets the dash under a carpeted trim piece, two nuts under the rear HVAC vents, and then we'll need to unclip the emergency brake handle boot. All right, now we've got the console removed. This trim piece has four clips holding it to the console and you need to remove it to be able to disconnect the menu button. There's two clips here and then these two plastic ones here, here and here fit into here and here. And now there are four torques here that hold it in. So I'm gonna pull these torques out and then let's put the new one in. Now I'll install the CarPlay unit by removing the head unit and display in the car to integrate the CarPlay's wiring harness into the original BMW harness behind the dash. Then I'll need to hook up power and ground to the CarPlay's module, power from a hot wire at the brake pedal and ground from a bolt under the dash. All right, I got the CarPlay setup installed and tested it, everything is working. So now I'll put everything back together, including the center console.
Okay, the dash is all back together and everything is working how it should. I love the black with dark brown trim on this car. In my opinion, it is the best combination that I've seen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now on to the transmission. We're going to be doing a transmission service, which is the pan, the filter integrated all in one, and a couple other seals that come with the kit, new bolts. So we're going to be replacing that, obviously the fluid, and doing an oil change. So let's get into it. Let's drain the fluid. We've already ran it for about 10 to 15 minutes to get everything warmed up, ready to be drained. So let's get underneath and drain the fluid. As you can see, I've got another car up on the lift, which is why I'm doing this job on jack stands. The footage isn't great because of this, but stick around to the end of the video and you'll see why I'll be doing this job for a second time up on the lift. So first we're going to remove this belly pan here, looks like a bunch of 8 millimeters. Here's the tranny pan, drain plug is here at the very back. Right there, right above that notch, is the fill plug. So we're going to take the fill plug off first, it's a big Allen, and then we'll remove the drain plug. it should be and it doesn't look that bad All right, so I've got the pan out here and there's a date on the filter, 2015. So that's not that bad. The fluid is looking a little brown, but it's not that bad. Let's, uh, let's pop one of these magnets out and let's see what's underneath it. Let's try not to make a mess here. It's hmm, not bad. It's got a little bit of metal, metallic dust on it, but Man, this fluid looks really good. Done in 2015, so this thing's got about 100,000 miles on it. Back then, maybe 60. All right, so this seal is goes underneath the valve body. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Looks like there's gonna be like 15 T40s to get that unit out. All right, there's an electrical connector going through the transmission that is gonna hold the valve body in. There is the connector in the back of the transmission. 
there's a little black tab on the bottom. You gotta spin that counterclockwise to pull the plug out. And then this little white tab on the bottom left, another connection that you need to remove. So for the connector, I'm just gonna be using a big flathead. trying to do is pull this little sleeve which has o-rings and seals on it out of the back of the transmission and then the valve body will be able to drop okay so I finally got this sleeve out I broke it and spent about two hours trying to get this thing out and finally got it out. All right, now I can drop the valve body. Look. All right, here's the other seal. So here's the new collar. I just put a little tranny fluid on it. Uh, let's see if I can get it up in there. I think that's in. Okay, now for the electrical connector. There it is. That's in. Okay, here is the torque sequence at eight Newton meters. Now I'm gonna change the oil. Looks like it's a ten millimeter Allen again. So, the oil is pretty black. No real metal shavings in the oil. No big chunks in the filter. We're good. Just hasn't been changed in a while. Look at this. Whew. All right, so. This kit came with a new O-ring for the housing. I think this O-ring probably goes for this little drain plug, but I'm not gonna mess with this because it looks like someone stripped this out already. So I'm gonna leave that. And then it also came with this copper, which looks like it is for like the main drain plug on the oil, but 
I don't think so. Because that wouldn't really work very well. So I'm going to reuse the one that's on here. Not a good idea, but I'm doing it. So let's replace this O-ring with the new one. And then we'll pop the filter in here. There we go. So that's ready to go back in the car. So before we put this back in the car, we are going to fill it with oil. I'd say that's full. Okay, so that's ready to go back in. I got the O-ring lubed with a little bit of oil. That's ready to go. All right, let's go put it back in, put the drain plug in and fill her up. Just gonna clean up the mating surfaces here where that O-ring seats. I don't know if you can see those, probably not, but it looks like somebody like took a, took a file to it or something. I spilt a little bit. I think this thing says twenty five Newton meters. Now we just need to put the the pan back on. So I've got all of my bolts here with Loctite already on them. And let's just start putting it in. Make sure you oil this O-ring. Basically, you start from the center, center two, and then start working your way out, just kind of in like a circular pattern. Okay, the fill plug is right here. We're going to fill it until it starts coming out. I'm gonna use one of these style pumps. The whole thing is supposed to take about seven quarts. Okay, now let's put this into the fill hole. Okay, well, what we're going to do now is start the car, let it run for 30 seconds, and then come back down here and fill it some more. Okay. 
Okay, started the car and let it run for 30 seconds. Now let's pull this drain plug back off and continue filling with the fill plug, not the drain plug. Now we have to actually let it get up to operating temperature. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. We got all of the interior components put back in the car. Everything is working properly in there. We also did the transmission service. Unfortunately, that did not fix the hard downshift. I also noticed after doing the transmission service, transmission fluid and coolant leaking in between the engine and the transmission. That means we need to remove the transmission to fix those leaks. While we have the transmission out, we will be replacing some components inside to fix that hard downshift for good and putting everything back in the car. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.